Well, today they got the root for the Samsung Galaxy S5. This one I know will work for the AT&T because I've rooted mine today. Um, basically, what you're going to do is open up your browser to towelroot.com, T-O-W-E-L-R-O-O-T.com. Once you're there, you're going to go ahead and just click the big icon in the center, and that will download the file for you. Okay. Once the download has been done, you just go ahead and click install, which I already did. Once it installs, it will reboot your phone. Okay. Once you reboot your phone, you're going to go into Super User or Root Checker. You really don't even need Super User. You can just go into Root Checker. You can go to Verify Root. Congratulations. Now this is Samsung Galaxy G900A, which is the AT&T version. Once you have the root access, you can then go ahead and start taking care of the bloatware. And I'll show you how we do that pretty quickly. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the App Store. And once on you're on the Play Store, what you want to get here is Titanium Backup. Okay, Titanium Backup Pro. This will cost you six bucks, but it's a good app. Go ahead and open up Titanium Backup. Now this is where the fun begins. You go down to Backup Restore, and this is where you take out all the bloatware garbage. Um, I took out the S Health. This one was the 900A, so it was the AT&T model. I took out Drive Mode, Chat On, AT&T Family Map, AT&T Locator, the ISIS Wallet crap. You know, this is how you debloat your phone to make it run a little better. Um, if, if you're unsure of taking something out, like you wanted to take out, say, I took out the email 4.42, because I don't use it, I use Gmail. I took out Launcher 1.0. I took out TouchWiz Home 1.0, but what I did, you'll see these little icons here, these smileys, means I, I backed that up first. Okay, so if, you, if you're unsure if it's going to run properly, you can highlight it, back it up first, and then you can go ahead and install it. Um, like say Video Player here. You have backup here, so you would back it up, then you do your wipe data and uninstall after it backs up. That way you can make sure, you know, so everything works on the phone before you permanently delete something. Now once you debloat it that way, you can go in and you can go ahead and get your exposed framework installed. And um, what the exposed framework will let you do is put on different modules. And um, our module here we have the YouTube Hadaway is installed under exposed framework. So when I play any video on YouTube, there's no ads, um, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't even matter what video, you just pick any video. You will see here there is no ads, nothing to skip. It just goes right into the video. Okay, so, you know, there are different things you can put in. The exposed module is great to download. Um, SQL editor, SQL Lite, you might use in the future. You can go into your databases and... Uh, like this phone's running on Straight Talk. I can go into the data directory and find out where they have it coded for like, like AT&T, APNs and stuff like that. Delete them right from the database. So you force it to use different things. But um, as you see, you know, we did bloat it a lot. I took the ISIS wallet out, Google, uh, Google Play Games, Google Play Newsstand, um, you know, all the Google stuff I wasn't going to use. Google Play Music I don't use. So, like I said, this is very, very nice to have. Um, to save some link, I probably will take out. I, uh, you know, haven't backed that up yet and played with it for a while, but there's just so much. Oh, here's the Expose Installer. Basically, once you get the Expose Installer in, you go to your modules. And you can say have YouTube out of way there. Okay, you go over to Download. Okay, now you go to Modules, Download. And this is what's installed. And these are all the things, they may not work with your phone, but these are all the things you can install. Okay, this is all the mods you can install. And a lot of guys will use part of these mods to make their custom ROMs. Um, there's a good one in here called Gravity Box. It lets you change the colors of the taskbar up here and all that kind of stuff. 
Gravity Box KK, right here. Gravity Box Kit Kat. Gravity Box JB. I haven't tried it yet because I don't, you know, what Samsung stuff, but for now we'll just grab the Gravity Box Kit Kat. Okay. Go to Versions tab, Download. So this is kind of how you customize your phone once you have root. You uh, get that in, you get titanium backup going, you know, for six bucks for titanium backup. And please donate to the guy on his site who uh, got the root. Okay, we do an install. Do your install of the gravity box. Open it up. Now it's going to say the module isn't activated yet. Go down here. Go to expose module. Click it. Now, now the module is going to be active on reboot. Okay. Okay, so now we're back up. And what I like to do, I just like keep a couple basic folders on my desktop. That's it. I like to try to keep a clean screen. So what I did is I just pop Gravity Box out here. You open this up, and this is where all your fancy stuff is. Screen recording, ultimate control, all kind of stuff, status bar tweaks. Um, signal cluster settings, clock settings, um, double tap to sleep. You can put the phone to sleep with a double tap and once you get that configured. So you get gravity box install, there's all kinds of things you can do like here's your battery settings here, battery indicator style, um, circle battery percentage I put on and um, that's up here charging indication animated you can pick what color you want this to be when it's charging um, circle with you know KitKat battery all kind of stuff you can do so gravity box is pretty nice as you see if it'll focus my battery is just a circle percentage in a circle um, clock settings you can change all kind of stuff in here um, brightness control double tap to sleep Status bar colors, enable icon colors here. You can see it went to blue. Status bar background colors back, black. So say I wanted to make all the icons a different color. Let's say I wanted to make them like a red. Go down here, just as an example. Okay, here. Boom. All my icons up there are now red. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Okay. Um, icon style, jelly bean or Kit Kat. Signal color mode, use gravity box icons, you see they change a little bit. Um, use stock icons, I like the gravity box icons, that's a status bar. Notification drawer style, I mean this goes in through all kind of stuff you can do with the gravity box. So go ahead and download the root, check it with the uh, super user, root checker, make sure you have root after you install it. Go ahead and get your... Uh, Titanium backup from the App Store. Install Titanium backup. Pay the six dollars for it. It's worth it. And um, once Titanium backup's installed, like I said, go to Backup Restore. Anything before you uninstall anything you're not sure of, back it up. Then uninstall it. Like I said, here in the United States on the 900A, we have all kind of stuff. AT&T Maps or an AT&T Locator, ISIS Wallet. Kid mode, there's a gazillion things listed in here. S Health, I'll never use S Health. Um, you know, take it all out, and um, that's it. I mean, your phone runs a little faster. Also, with the gravity box, as you can see, I have multiple windows up. You can close them all here, but with the gravity box, it also has a close all here, too. So, you know, you kind of get some added benefits when you put the exposed framework on and a gravity box. And the YouTube ad blocker is nice. You know, I, I like watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. But, you know, we're on a battery device. So, to save that 5 or 8 or 10 seconds of ads, you know, hey, that's some more battery time we get out of our devices. So, alright guys, any questions? I don't know, post in the comments below. I really can't give you too many more answers. But, uh, that's how to get root on your Galaxy S5 from AT&T.